Hi everybody, I'm happy to report that your essays are ready for review. Before you take a look at yours though, let me walk you through how to find your feedback because it might be a little different than what you're used to. Because this is Canvas, there are several ways to get back to your graded paper. You might be following the link from an email notification, or you might be accessing your paper from the grades area. If you scroll through and see the essay, you will see that you can click on the comments, the rubric, the Verisite originality report, or you can click on the name of the essay. I always recommend clicking on the name of the essay because this will show you everything in one place. The other way you can get to this location from the home page is to click on a recent feedback notification. So let's look at some of the things that you can do here. The first thing you may want to do is give yourself a little bit more room by minimizing the course menu. That's better. So here you can see the essay you submitted, but what I would like you to click on is view feedback so that you can see your essay and my comments in the margins. You can resize this and you can also enter full screen to see everything. So in this paper, you can see my comments and the annotations connected to those comments. By hovering over one of them, you can see the line drawn between them. Remember that my comments are color coded, and so each one of these colors means something. For example, the orange is grammar or punctuation, the blue is MLA format, green is something related to essay writing, and yellow is analysis, insight, and evidence. You can also download and print this annotated PDF if you would like. I'm going to close this view so that we can look behind it to see the Verisite report. So Verisite will check your paper for similarity to other works, both in Verisite's academic database and on the internet. You will see that there's a tutorial you can go through if you would like to learn more about Verisite. And exact matches are shown in various colors, depending on how high the match level is. So if you click on one of these, you can see where it came from. You want to have a low score, particularly if this is not a research paper. A high score generally indicates a problem with plagiarism. Next, let's look at the rubric. If you see a box highlighted, that is a box I checked. If you don't see a box checked, that means you were given a custom score somewhere in the range you see at the bottom of the box. Use the bar at the bottom to slide over and see what that number is. This lets me give more precise feedback. You may also see an additional comment that I have left for you within the rubric. You'll also see your total points at the bottom. To close the rubric, go up to the top and look for the X. Most of my comments will be left in the comments area. And sometimes you'll see I have attached an attachment, which you can click on to open. Sometimes I will have typed a comment to you. And sometimes you will see that I have left you a video comment. To play the video or audio comment, simply click on it and it will open for you. Hey, great job with this. You can watch it as many times as you would like. If you have a question, you can also leave a comment for me. You will see the add a comment box here. So if you would like to have a conversation about the paper, this is the place to start that conversation. I hope that this has been helpful for you. As you go through your feedback, remember that the different types of feedback are designed to work together. The rubric corresponds with the annotated comments on your paper. And I discuss these elements in the video. You can tell that I've taken some time with your paper because I know that it's important to you. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box or contact me through the Canvas inbox.